You've only got a minute, so let's get to it. DCS air refueling with the Viper. This takes practice, and it's all about movement trends in the three R's. Recognize, react, and return. Observation position. Focus on the wing, the engine nacelles, and the position light. You should be able to see the top of the wing. Use the engine pylons to fine-tune your vertical. Gauge forward position by observing the position light relative to the overwing hatch. The front of the outboard nacelle is under the S in U.S. Air Force. The nacelles provide all three-dimensional cues as well as distance from the tanker. Pre-contact. By the book, your closure rate is one foot per second, so don't be in a rush. Watch your trends and practice your three R's. Use your HUD to maintain symmetry with the inboard engines as well as vertical displacement from the tanker. Use the yellow line in the belly for lateral alignment. Closing to contact, your primary cues are the inboard nacelles and the tanker body. Keep the nacelles in a symmetrical angular relationship with the HUD supports. Use the top of the HUD to gauge vertical proximity. The director lights show you where you are. Left side are up and down, right side are aft and forward. Down and forward are toward the front of the tanker. Center each light in the middle of its track. In contact, constantly adjust. Your throttle should be moving every second. If you oscillate, chop the throttle, back away, and try again. If you have questions or a topic request, leave them in the comments. And remember, I'm only going to give you one minute.